Uh, what we're doing right now is we're towing this disabled vessel back into South Fenton Marina. He's one of our local boaters. Uh, he's had a boat down here quite a few years. Uh, on the average, we tow probably about 40 to 45 boats during the boating season for multiple reasons, whether it be out of gas, dead battery, uh, prop hit the rocks and the motor's not working properly, electronic difficulties. Um, that's the bulk of our existence really is doing boat tows and, and other you know, medical, medical assists when need them. The uh, dive training that we did that day with the boat in the water and people in the water was an uh, opportunity for ECC to utilize the GPS systems that are available to them now. Once they get the signal from the GPS or the cell tower, they are able to give us a latitude and longitude which we can put into our GPS systems that we have on the boat and just hit go to and it gives us a straight line to where those coordinates are and where we have to go. So it worked out very well. They were able to get the Latin along. We plugged it in and uh, got on scene. Well, I'm just the captain of the boat for the dive team. I just throw them overboard and pick them back up out of the water. I've not a diver myself. Uh, but they'd like to train at least four hours a month. Uh, they'll train out on Long Island Sound. They'll drop some uh, buoys and markers that they have that actually sink. They're weighted like dolls, baby dolls. And uh, we'll put them out in the general vicinity of where that goes down and then they'll do their search pattern whether it be a pendulum search or a circular search um, low visibility in long island sound only about two to three feet on a good day uh, so it's it's a tough task for them to try to find stuff but they do a great job when they get in the water well we go from bridgeport to westport is our jurisdiction and half mile out in uh, halfway out into the long island sound but we aren't restricted to just being in our waters to patrol. Alongside the uh, Bridgeport Police Marine Unit, uh, doing ferry escorts, checking the infrastructure as I-95, the train tracks in their harbor. Um, that, that's basically the biggest homeland security effort that we put forth, uh, being that we're not a commercial waterway in here in South Benson, and more recreational, but Bridgeport looks to us to help them out with ferry escorts and keeping an eye on the infrastructure. We are all licensed captains, U.S. Coast Guard licensed captains. We all hold our master's license. Uh, have gone through some very tough training to achieve those licenses with the Coast Guard. Uh, but worth every hour spent training.